Matt Corral expressed regret over going to play for Ole Miss. Now, I found this incredibly interesting, right? He said, I took the easy way out. Uh, He told the Charlotte Observer, I took the easy way out because I felt I could play right away. He said about his decision to go to Ole Miss. Knowing what I know now and trusting my instincts and trusting my work ethic, I would have went to a place that would have made me compete. Now, this is, of course, interesting because it's not like Corral came in and played immediately. He attempted 22 passes as a freshman. He shared the starting quarterback job with John Rice Plumley in 2019. He went through multiple offensive coordinators. He, he got incredibly lucky, I would say, that Lane Kiffin came in and basically overhauled his career. Because, my gosh, uh, he did not look like he was going to be much of anything when he initially got to Oxford. He, was, he caused a lot of trouble. He makes it seem like he could have gone anywhere that he wanted to. But remember, there was a reason why he was going to Ole Miss, who had Matt Luke as their coach at that point. There were a lot of schools that would not recruit him. I mean, he was a big-time four-star recruit out of California, and it's not like he had a a high level of suitors here. There were people that were interested if they could figure out exactly what the behavior issues were, right? So let's not act like he could just go any place he wanted to, but for him to say, I would have went to a place that would have made me compete, uh, that's a bit of a joke. I mean, just, just absolutely ridiculous for him to come out and say that. I think... To burn bridges at a place that you just got drafted to the NFL out of, what is the purpose of that? It just doesn't make any sense at all for him to say anything about this. Like, ah, you know, I was young and dumb, and I chose Ole Miss for all the wrong reasons. Like, come out and say something else about how how great the school was or whatever. Like, don't say, I would have gone someplace that made me compete. Because you did compete for your first two years. Like, you got beat out a lot of the time by a guy that isn't exactly a great passer. Like, he had obviously, some of that had to do with the offense coordinator that was there with Rich Rodriguez. But regardless, I mean, what are you doing? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.